Hey cruisers, welcome to the live stream. We thought we would do Thursday night live tonight since we have been live on Fridays for the last few weeks. So glad to see all of you here. We had a really good time in the pre-chat. If you are new tonight and you want to get to know our community a little better, show up early to a live stream and hang out in the chat with us. Depending on what time from work I get home or what time I get home from work, that was like Yoda. I was like channeling Yoda. <laughs> That was funny. Depending on what time I get home from work, sometimes I get to jump in the chat early and say hello to everyone. And tonight was no exception. So tonight's episode is brought to you by our awesome friends at cruiseline.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. If you are not familiar with cruiseline.com, you got to click on the link in the description of this video and make sure that you download Shipmate app, Ship mate app and add cruise tips to as a tv as a friend you got to join your roll call for your next cruise over on shipmate app and check out and browse all of the awesome photos that you possibly can on your ship so how is everybody doing it's looking like we have a really great crew tonight i do see some newbies in the house Brenna338, I see that you're new. Welcome, so glad to have you here. And I know that there's probably a lot of other new folks in the house. I just wanna welcome you all to this wonderful Cruise Tips TV family. Since 2013, we have been creating videos of all different types. We started out, out as like studio tip people. So we would make videos all about just packing and tips and things like that. And then one day, our cruising community was like, look, we want you to not only take you on vacation with us, but we want you to go live. So we started doing live streams just like this. It was really nerve wracking at first, but now it's so fun and we love it. And we started doing travel vlogs where we take you along on our cruises with us. So if you're new, you gotta hit the subscribe button. This is my pitch. This is my plea. We want you to stay with us, learn from us, learn with us, and as you grow and cruise, you're gonna be teaching us all that you know. So join this wonderful community, hit that subscribe button today. Wow, that was quite the sales pitch. I don't usually do that, but it just sounded fun today to give everybody who's new a little history on the Cruise Tips TV family. And Fallen Brewbaker's in the house. Thank you, Fallen, for welcoming all of the newbies tonight. Um, Rebecca Scott says, love your hair. Why, thank you, Rebecca. I'm trying to grow it out. It got a little too short and I was feeling a little uneasy and um, I burned my hair. I wanna see the burned hair. So this piece right here, see that? That's curling iron accident. So yeah, I've been uh, tucking that behind my ear for about three months now and waiting for that to grow out. <laughs> Lesson guys, gals. Those of you who use a curling iron, do not turn it up to the highest heat. So anyway, let's get some questions going tonight. I'm being a little too goofy, and I'm sure that there's many people who have some questions that they have, and we want to answer them. So here we go. Laura Stigner, sorry to be a downer, but what's your take on the Italy lockdown? We're heading out in a week, worried. Laura, I know. You guys, what Laura is talking about is the ship that is, um, it is a, it is Costa Smeralda, right? It is on lockdown in Italy right now because there is a potent, there's a couple on board being tested for coronavirus. They do not know if they have it yet. Maybe they found out, they're supposed to find out this afternoon. I have not jumped onto the news site to get an update, but my take is that it's, this is a serious situation. It's, I think it's more serious than we all thought. I think that, um, most of the cruise lines who are reacting are reacting appropriately and in, and you know, I guess you could say it's an abundance of caution, but they have to protect the community. You know, they've got to protect the community. They've got to protect the people in the next ports. And I'm sure that they are following the CDC guidelines on this particular virus, right? So am I worried? I'm no more worried than I normally would be with any type of outbreak. This is a very serious situation. A lot of people are ill. Um, you know, China is on lockdown in many, many ways, but I don't expect that this situation will go on for very long. With regards to what do I think about the cruises that are being impacted, many cruises from China have been canceled, not all, but many. Some have been rerouted. I know some are doing the Yokohama thing in Japan. It's, it's, it, there's just so much going on in so many places, and it's a worldwide concern right now. So let's all just take a deep breath, 
stay tuned, let's stay tuned, let's follow the news. Um, let's, I mean, you know, certainly send our thoughts and prayers to those who are affected by this, but I'm not going to worry too much. I mean, for goodness sakes, we're in the middle of flu season too, guys, right? I mean, the danger of getting influenza when you're traveling is also very real. And that is something that we don't panic about, but that's a very real concern. We've gotten the flu on cruises before and it stinks. Certainly wouldn't want to get any kind of contagious illness on a cruise, but um, my thoughts are, I hope that things resolve soon. I hope that they find out that that couple did not have the virus and that they can get that ship back on track and that everything will be okay. But for right now, let's, I would say, let's put our trust in the cruise lines that they'll do the right thing. That's my final, my final verdict here. All right. Oh, Tommy's in the house. Yeah, I know. I figured you probably did think coronavirus was a made up cruise meme. Leave it to Tommy. Tommy, I would like to see a coronavirus cruise meme on your Instagram channel, if possible, within the next week. That would make me so happy. Please, please make a coronavirus meme. I'm counting on you to bring some levity. Kathy, I've never found a cruising duck, but I don't generally look for them. I haven't gotten into the duck thing. I think it's really cute, but I've never done it. Okay, let's answer some questions. S&K Cruising on Vacation Mode said, we're thinking about becoming travel agents. Do you have a travel agent company you recommend us joining the team? Yes, I absolutely do. I do recommend that you contact Wendy at Montebello Dream Vacations. I'm going to pop a link in the chat right now. Wendy is our travel agent, and she is the official travel agent of the Cruise Tips TV community. And um, I know that she is uh, she's a franchise owner, essentially. So she works for Dream Vacations, which is a large, very reputable company. There are people in the chat who have booked with her and have been very happy <laughs> um, so call her up and see if she's taking on new um, staff. She's a great trainer. She and I have talked about that before, and it's potentially something that she might be able to do. If she can't, hopefully she could advise you on that. All right. Let's see here. Casey501. Hi. You helped ease my mind in recent live about taking my two-year-old on his first cruise. We booked the sunshine in December. Yeah, Casey! Cruise dance for you. That's right. That's how we do it. We do not worry about these things. Cruising is a wonderful way to travel with children. Junior went on his cr first cruise when he was one. I probably already told you that, Casey, huh? I'm sure we had this combo. Um, but it's so great. It's It feels very contained. You can spend all the time in the world with your child if you want. You can try to introduce them to the youth center if you want, but one thing is for sure, they will meet new people from all over the world. They will probably be exposed to new foods, and it's great. I think our son really developed as a person on the cruises he went on when he was little. He became a little man, and he learned how to talk to people from all over the world and get to know um, maybe our servers from the Philippines who had babies, who missed their babies, and they would spend a great amount of time talking to our little boy and engaging with him. It's a beautiful thing, you guys. Cruising can be very community oriented and very special in that way. Um, it always has been for our family. All right. Oh, let's see here. Mrs. WW says, Sherry, happy Thursday. Can you talk a little bit about how the flights book when booking them with your cruise line? We booked the free at sea package with NCL. We'll be able to pick our flights. Mrs. WW, they're all different. With, with free at sea, I don't think you get to pick your flights. But with other cruise air programs, you can generally pick them. For example, Princess Easy Air and Royal Caribbean's Air 2C program, you pick your own flights on the website. But I think the promo with Norwegian, you don't get to pick. Give them a call, talk to them about it. Marzi916, going to Mexican Riviera in November, weather issues, question mark. Nope. You probably won't have any. That's a gorgeous time to cruise to the Mexican Riviera. You could have some chill in California but not much. Usually November is lovely out of LA, so you should be fine. Tupper Sam said, how do you set a price alert with NCL Bliss, studio stateroom, nothing to click on? Is that a glitch with Shipmate? I'm not sure, Tupper Sam. Um, if you can't seem to access the studio cabins, I would suggest that you get in touch with support at cruiseline.com and check with them and see if they can help you on that. Angela Threadgill said, hi, first cruise on Monday with Carnival Dream with my sister. have been watching you for months. I want to say thank you for the advice and insights. Aw, Angela, just spreading some love today. 
thank you. That's really nice. I appreciate it. Jake Webb is in the house. What are your thoughts on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady? I think, Jake, that it's going to be revolutionary for the, the cruise industry. They are adult on purpose, and I think that that appeals to a lot of people, and it's going to be fascinating to see how the first five years of their business go. Um, I'm totally intrigued by it. It'll be really cool to see, Jake. Brittany Moxley said, how's the Caribbean weather in January? Beautiful, but I want you to know that Florida can be cold. You guys, Florida has had a recent cold snap. Who's in the house from Florida and can tell me how cold it got in your neighborhood? Tell us how cold it got in Florida, in your neighborhood, and how far below usual that is. So just for those first few days, you might want to think embarkation and debarkation. It could actually be winter. And I have had that experience cruising out of Florida. It can be cold, but then your cruise to the Caribbean should be very warm. All right, KC501, I don't know the answer to the best park and sale in Charleston, but maybe someone can help. Debbie Prokop, got off Carnival Dream, won a lot in the casino. They are offering you a great deal on the championship blackjack cruise in May on the Carnival Magic, should you go? Debbie, why the heck not? I say go for it. Tell me what your concerns are. Um, if you can afford the cruise and you can take the time off work, I say go, go, go. Jose, is it Jose or Josie Duval? What do you think of Oasis of the Seas in October from New York? I think that sounds wonderful. Maybe not the middle of winter, so it's nice. Definitely still a little bit potentially of hurricane risk or tropical storm risk. So be aware of potential itinerary changes. Chrissy said, my daughter's 15. Her father knows she's going on a cruise with me in April. Will I need a notarized letter for him or will a simple letter do? Chrissy, ask the cruise line, but I think you're better off getting a notarized letter. That's my experience. Also, talk to your travel agent. Talk to our travel agent. I'll pop um, her um, information in the chat right now, but... I think you should definitely verify that because every cruise line is a little different. But I, if it was me, I'd say, why not get a notarized letter and just have that peace of mind? I would do it. Katie Coling said, um, when do I begin packing for a cruise? Katie, whenever you want. You can pack whenever the heck you want. If you want to start packing two months before, do it. I usually start putting things aside in my closet, like in a corner of my closet, like a month out. And then I get pretty serious about a week out because sometimes I still need some of that stuff, right? But you just do what feels good to you. You might enjoy some of the packing tips in our masterclass. And I'm going to put a link and a discount code to our Intro to Cruising Masterclass in the description right now. There are tons of people in here um, who have been through the class and will tell you that it's awesome. If you don't believe me, they will tell you. So let me hit enter on that. Oh my goodness sakes, my computer is so slow tonight. And then we'll get right back to questions. Okay. All right, here we go. So always be booked, Tommy said, look at you trying to get me hate mail. Oh, I know, Tommy. I know, I'm sorry, that's really not nice. But you know what, you, Tommy, you live on the edge. So we have to consider the fact that you already live on the edge. Um, obviously, we don't want to make fun of a CDC emergency, but you are Tommy. So we expect a little levity from you all the time. Um, Bogna Altman said, I just bought a gazillion magnets, lanyards, and packing cubes because of you. Heading to Alaska and your tips are more helpful than you think. Aw, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. We love giving out tips, but we also love receiving them. We learn so much from everybody, so I'm glad that you got your shopping on. Yvonne Schof said, <laughs> is the work to cruise a real thing? Yvonne, isn't that what we're all doing? Like, don't we all work to cruise? I mean, come on. Mama has a budget for a reason. Um, I think I think this is a good time to talk about finances and stuff too, you guys. Just for a second, who in the house is a Dave Ramsey fan? I, my husband's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sick of hearing about this. I have recently, no, he's not. He's actually very sweet and loves him, but I've recently become a big fan of Dave Ramsey. He has a great podcast. He's all about living your life totally debt-free, whatever that means to you, whatever phase of life you are. Um, that doesn't necessarily have to mean paying off your house. It means just, you know, living in a way that allows you to go through what he calls the baby steps to become very financially secure in your life, but in a very sensible way. 
um, anyone can do this. So if you're not a Dave Ramsey fan, please become one. Um, it's a great way to learn how to budget in your life. Maybe you've never budgeted before and you want to learn. Um, and also he happens to be doing a group cruise on Holland America, I believe in March, and he just had 42 cabins open up. So yeah. Um, yes. Becky Hopper said, I love Dave Ramsey. SC206 loves Dave. Mrs. WW loves Dave. See you guys, there's so many people here. Um, Jennifer, who are Dave Ramsey fans. So I, oh, Lizo, I like Susie Orman too. I, um, just so you all know, my car is a 2002. We do not live extravagant lives at Cruise Tips TV. We work really hard to budget for prioritizing travel in our life, and it is not always easy. Um, I don't ever want you all to think that it is. This is reality, guys. We have bills. We have rent to pay. We have expensive stuff that Junior likes to do, right? We spend a lot of money on food every month, just feeding our family. This is reality. And um, I am really excited about the idea of like learning how to budget better to live a better life. It's so empowering. It's so great. So check it out. Um, Tommy, is he better than Susie Orman? Um, yeah, I know what you mean, right? He's different from Susie Orman. Um, he talk, the format of his show is a little bit like Susie's where you call in and you ask questions and things and he sets you straight one way or the other, but he has just kind of a basic formula that he uses for everyone called the baby steps of like financial security. And the first thing that you do is you save a thousand dollars in your savings account. You've got to have an emergency fund. Then you, you know, you work through the steps. Um, so wherever you are in that, um, you're very much accepted, but I've learned so much from him. And I thought I was pretty good at financial things. I have a great financial planner. My dad is a really good businessman and mentor. And I've always thought I knew what the heck I was doing. And I really enjoyed listening to Susie Orman as well, but I'm getting a little more value from Dave, Tommy, to answer your question specifically. But there's a lot of people who are, um, in the, the house tonight saying that they've done Financial Peace University. That's like next level, Dave Ramsey. Financial Peace University is like a, um, it's a, it's like a class that you can enroll in. Personally, I'm using the app. So I'm using what's called Every Dollar. It's an app that you connect to your bank account. And so what you do is you, you avoid using credit cards as much as possible. I still believe very much in travel credit cards and we get a lot of value from those, but everyday purchases are all in your bank account. You stream all of your purchases into your bank account and you drag and drop them into budgetary areas. And the first thing that happens is there's this revelation about how much you're spending on what. And then you have extra money left over and you're like, wait, this gives me freedom. So it, it gives you accountability. You're a little bit less spendy. For example, I have really cut down on my clothing spending. Mr. Cruise Tips TV can vouch for the fact that we have not been going to TJ Maxx and spending $50 every weekend. It has not been happening. So um, I see a beautiful super chat coming in and then I promise I'm going to get back onto questions. Sorry for the rant but I really felt that was important and I wanted to spend a moment on it. So Bear BK3, thank you for the super chat. Bear says, love your channel and all your tips. Have you guys ever been on Star Princess? Plus has anyone there done a land and sea tour in Alaska on Princess and how was it booked on Star Princess? Yes, we've been on Star Princess and we have a series of vlogs for you. Go to our channel, click playlist Bear, and search for star and you'll find a whole playlist. We have not done a cruise tour. It is on my dream list and we will definitely, definitely um, work on that. Becky, the best travel credit cards to have depends on how good your credit is. I really like the, um, the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, but it has a very hefty annual fee of $500 or $550, it just went up. However, you get $350 in travel credit and you get lounge access and you get incredible points. So for us, that card is making good sense. The Capital One cards are also really good, just as long as you're using them very, very responsibly. Travel with Tess, I love what you said about the baby steps. Congratulations on being almost debt-free. I hope you go to his studio and do a debt-free scream. Proud of you, man. 
Colton B said, what to do in Astoria? Oh no, Colton, I've never been to Astoria. Has anyone got any suggestions for Colton? Carrie Williamson said, hello, I wanna book a cruise for around October and November. When is the best time to book a cruise to get the best deals? It's right now, Carrie. We're in wave season. Wave season is the time when the cruise lines book the most amount of cabins and they offer some great deals. So I gotta tell you, I'm really impressed with Princess's best deal ever promotion. Norwegian is also bringing it with some perks, so there's some competitive deals out there. Kim Adams says, what's with the ducks? Kim, I know, but I don't know. It's one of those things that if you're into it, you're into it. If you're not, you're not. Personally, I'm not a duck person, but people take ducks onto a cruise. They write little notes on them. They hide them in public places. Somebody else gets them, and it's just a thing, and I've never done it. It's cute as heck, but I've never done it. Cash Attic Mel said, going on Breeze in a way too long 267 days, eight-day cruise. Will there be two or three formal nights? Probably two. Probably two. Meredith Doyle, what's the longest cruise you've ever been on? A glorious 12 nights in Japan and Asia, Meredith. Tokyo to Singapore, 2,800 miles by sea. 12 days is heaven for our family because it takes us forever to wind down and that time together is so precious. We are running hard in our day, daily life. Work, school, sleep, repeat. Work, school, sleep, repeat, right? Like, wow, that was amazing. It was so good and we got an incredible deal. So, Mike St. Germain, when is a better time to book a cruise? June or July, 10 year old is, um, our 10 year is June 26, trying to get money scraped to do, oh, okay, awesome. Mike, it depends. It depends on where you're going. I don't think either one really matters. So depending on where you're going, don't worry about that. Get the money saved first and worry about booking it later. There's always last minute deals too. You guys, last minute deals are still a thing. Mike, they're still a thing. Save the money, have all the money saved before you book it. You'll feel so much better. Jess Gordon said, what's your thoughts on Carnival Mardi, Gr Mardi Gras? Do you think it'll be um, that the ship will be similar to Oasis class on Royal Caribbean? Nope. Jess, I think it's gonna be a whole new normal for Carnival. I think it's gonna be great. Really interested to see how the the um, the um, the Bolt roller coaster works out. I think it's gonna be revolutionary. A lot of people on the ship, so in that sense, it'll be a little bit like Oasis class, but I think it'll be different. Um, Angelia, favorite, said, hi, taking 10-year-old granddaughter on Carnival Valor. She has seafood allergies. Where's the best place to eat? The main dining room is gonna be the best and most com controlled place. Let the maitre d' know on night one about her allergy. Seafood allergy should be no problem at all to accommodate. All right, Daryl McRaney said, advice for booking last minute cruise deals. Yes, step one, set a price alert at cruiseline.com. Step two, look at the cruise line websites yourself under the deals section and step three, call a travel agent to book it once you find the deal. That's how I would do it, that's how I'd do it. Brittany Moxley said, does every cruise line offer payment installments? Can you expand on how it works? Brittany, I don't have enough knowledge about this to expand on it. Some do like Carnival, but the best thing you can do is work with a travel agent to see how they can help you to set up a payment plan. It's not my area of expertise. The only structured payment plan that I know is through Carnival. The only thing I don't like about that plan is a very high interest rate, which is not a financially smart way to cruise. Travel with Tess says, hi, CTTV. Which specialty dining restaurants are free during lunch? Carnival Panorama, if any, tons. Oh, specialty, um, I think the Italian place is free during lunch. You've got Guy's Burgers. Um, help me out, guys. Who's been on Panorama and can tell her which ones are free at lunch? Specialty. Ron Hood said, my sons are both graduating from college, one from med school, and the youngest is getting his BS. We booked a cruise tour in Alaska in celebration. Anything you must do in Denali. Ah, oh, Ron, my goodness sakes, this is tough. I think that you guys have to just look as a family and see what interests you. Be aware that some of the bus tours can be a little bit long and some people don't really like the idea of sitting on like an old school bus. So if I were you and I were doing this for my boys at that age, I would look for something that has a little bit more adventure involved. I haven't done Denali, so I don't have personal recommendations for you. My suggestion is to have a family meeting and pull up the excursions on the Princess website and see what they offer and book it as a family. And you guys are gonna have an amazing time. 
Uh, we're gonna try to do a cruise tour at some point. Carrie Williamson, hey, when's the best time to get deals on cruises in October or November? Carrie, now. I think we already talked about that though. Alan Kutchel, I mean, Carrie, I mean, book them now. Look now. Um, unless you're doing totally last minute, now is a good time. Alan Kutchel, what are your thoughts on Princess Cruises stopping in Shanghai and Hong Kong? Um, well, right now they're not for the most part. Some, most of them have pulled out completely of that area, Alan. My thoughts are they're doing what they think is the responsible thing. And in some cases they may be being mandated to do it. I think that they're doing their best to try to stop the spread of this thing and I'm trusting that the cruise lines are doing the best thing. Natalie O said, how many cruises do you go on per year? An average of three, Natalie, an average of three, sometimes less. Top Rad said, we can't thank you enough for all your tips. Thank you so much. Jess Gordon, what's your opinion on Carnival Mardi, Mardi Gras? Oh, already answered that one. Natalie O said, what's your favorite thing about Norwegian Cruise Line? Oh, wow, Natalie, I have a lot of favorite things. One of them is the go-karts on Norwegian Bliss unbelievably cool. Um, the Children's Center, the Youth Center's phenomenal. My son absolutely loved the Youth Center on Norwegian, and I also love their specialty dining, Natalie. Stephen Ames said, Cruise Tips TV, would she help me with my cruise? Stephen, you mean my travel agent? She probably would, and we've linked to her here in the notes. I actually know, you know what? Stephen, you're in Australia. I think she can only book people in Canada and the US. I'm so sorry. But find a good agent over in Australia. Ask some friends. Ask in the Students and Coaches Facebook page if you can find a good agent. Um, so Vernon said, how do you stay calm while waiting on your medallions to arrive? Vernon, you don't. You don't stay calm. You get totally excited and you shop for accessories. <laughs> That's what I did. I was like popping back on the website going, oh wait, I got the watch band. Wait, should I, oh, should I have gotten the necklace? Should I have gotten the wristlet? Should I have gotten the clip? That's how I handled it, shopping. Um, anyway, Heather Cronkite, has anyone ever gone on Princess to the British Isles? Wondering if you can see Isle of Skye on a tour or do they cruise past? I'm not sure, Heather. Hopefully someone can answer that for us here. Isabel Sweet, hi Isabel, says, does Princess drink package still include all coffee type drinks or do you need to purchase a separate coffee card? It does, Isabel, it does include specialty coffees as far as I know. So if you look at the Princess, just go onto Princess's site and search beverage package, it will be in the FAQ there. Natalie O said, going on Norwegian in two and a half weeks, do they have formal nights? They have optional formal nights, Natalie, so you can dress up if you want, but you don't have to. Um, Top Rad said, have you ever done North the Northeast in Canada? Yes, we did Canada, New England in 2006 before we were even dreaming of cruise vlogging. Loved it, phenomenal. We were on um, Holland America's Mazdom. It was the bomb. I know I'm not supposed to say the bomb anymore. That makes me uncool, but sometimes it just comes out and I can't help it. So I'm sorry. Gina Gallegos, what did you think of the Princess Medallion? How was the internet? Internet was great. Medallion was amazing. So fun, so cool. Keyless entry into the room is totally the best part. Ordering a drink in your stateroom from your app is really great. Don't forget to take advantage of that first free drink. And OMG, getting on and off the ship on embarkation, disembarkation, and port days is super easy with the medallion. It's fantastic. Natalie O, advice for booking your next cruise on board NCL. I personally, if I was gonna put down a deposit, would then transfer it to my travel agent after, so you could do that. Yoa Holmes, should I use a travel agent or not use a travel agent? We are big proponents here of travel agents. Yoa, um, it is a big deal to us because we think that travel agents offer a huge amount of value. I'm going to put our travel agency partner in the chat for you. Um, it is just so nice to have someone supporting you along the way. Here's some of the reasons that we like using a travel agent, and I'm gonna type this in first and then get back to you. Um, one moment, multitask in here. Okay, here's some reasons why we love using a travel agent. Number one, they are booking cruises all the time and they know things that we don't know. I have completely surrendered to this and every single time I use a travel agent to book a cruise, they help me, save me, or add some kind of value. Number one, that's what you should know. Number two, they can help you book travel insurance at a lower rate than you may think 
you can get travel insurance and they know how to do that for you and can help you do that. That's important to me. They can also help you with flights. They can advise you on flights. They can generally save you a little bit of money. Travel agents are paid by the cruise line, not by you. So there, you are going to pay the same amount of money or more if you book directly through the cruise line. It's just the way that it works. They get a commission from the cruise line. So that's my kind of my reasoning why I use a travel agent. All right, Ruthie Anira Grave, best tips for Harmony of the Seas. Okay, here we go. Number one, the drink package is probably worth it if you're gonna drink more than four or five drinks a day. And number two, take that drink package and go to the Vitality Spa and get fresh squeezed beautiful juices to keep you healthy and vital on your cruise. Number three, go to Wonderland. It is amazing and the views are awesome. And number four, don't overschedule yourself or you will pass out on day two. That ship is huge, there's so much to do, but don't overdo it. Elena Don Francesco said, we are foodies with three active kids. We also don't like too big of a crowd. Do you have a suggestion of a ship? Yes, I do. Elena, I think you might, foodies with not too big of crowds, I think you might wanna try celebrity. Um, I think you may also really enjoy princess. The three active kids on Princess and Celebrity, that's the tricky part because you've got the foodie thing covered with Princess and Celebrity. But for the active kids, Norwegian might be more your jam. So if you look at Norwegian as having a lot for families and kids, especially on the newer ships and having a lot of specialty restaurants for foodies, that one could work for you, but there's just some options. Tommy from Always Be Booked, if the CTTV fam were ever able to design and sail on a theme cruise, what would it be? Oh my gosh. What would our theme cruise be, honey? Oh my word. Tommy, you've stumped me. Mm. Could it be 80s music band of some sort? The Cure. How about all 80s like new wave? Like, give me some bands, babe. Just 80s new wave. Psychedelic Furs, The Cure. I would even take cover bands, Tommy. Um, yeah, that would be my that would be my jam. That'd be so fun. Christine Levesque, going on NCL Escape in December. Does the bowling alley cost extra? I think it does, Christine. Does anybody know? Janae Simpson said, I love watching your channel. I'm always inspired by your vlogs and tip videos. Also love the live streams because you're really in touch with your viewers. Oh my gosh, Janae. Thank you very, very much. And you are welcome. It is absolutely our pleasure. And thank you for taking a moment to write all of that. It means a lot to us. Colton B, will we ever see you on Celebrity? Totally, Colton. We would love to cruise on Celebrity. We have so many priorities. I don't know. They all just, there's just so many. But yeah, we, I'm sure we would love Celebrity. I think we would. Um, Irish in USA said, Holland America, have you gone on at your views? Yes, we've been on at least three or four Holland America cruises. We love it. It's been a long time um, since we've been on Holland America for a variety of reasons, but my goodness sakes, what a great cruise product. Really classy, definitely an older demographic. Um, good food, good service. Um, Dud Studs, hi, going on Carnival Panorama in two weeks. Tried to book dinner at Bonsai, but they were booked. Oh well, any last minute advice? Yeah, show up there on night one and see if they have any openings for the first night, see if they have any cancellations, and just ask them face-to-face. -face. Talk to them as soon as you get on that ship, as soon as you see that Bonsai is open. I have heard that Specialty Dining is booking on Panorama. I don't understand why it's happening so much. Um, Jill Hahn said, I've only been on one cruise, which is Princess. Next cruise is on Harmony of the Seas. What should you expect? Jill, you should expect it to feel different um, the ship will be easy to navigate. It is very easy to navigate Harmony. It's laid out beautifully. You will expect more noise, more people, more choice, um, a younger crowd. Um, you might find the dining room to be a little more bustling and crowded than Princess. So just be prepared for that. I would definitely book a specialty dining package. Jill Hahn said, oh no, already got you Jill, sorry. Um, George Riley, RCL water package. Do you have to buy two for the cabin? The water package. George, I'm not sure how the water package works and I'm so sorry. I think that the website should definitely clarify that for you. 
Ruthie Anira Graves said, any formal nights on MSC Seaside? Yes, there are two um, on Seaside. Katie said, what's your thoughts on a Caribbean cruise in September or October? Awesome values, Katie, awesome values, but you must be aware that you could have itinerary changes. We went on one in the last week of September and we were changed from Eastern to Western Caribbean. The day we got on the ship because of a tropical depression called Karen. So take advantage of the deals, but remain really flexible. Kayla Lowry said, what cruise lines honor your, lo your loyalty level from Princess? I've heard maybe NCL. No, NCL does not match. Absolutely not. Totally different company. Only MSC will, and then maybe some um, other companies where you're within the company, but MSC is the only one I know of that will honor Princess. Temi Scott said, my husband and I will be going on MSC Seaside staying in the Yacht Club. Does Ocean Key have a Yacht Club section for those staying in the Yacht Club? Oh, um, Tammy, Tammy, I'm not sure if they've developed that yet. Ask Doug Parker at Cruise Radio. He was there today. Um, so definitely go over to the Cruise Radio News Facebook page and drop him a note. He should be able to answer that for you. Leah Piercy says, we have $50 of onboard credit. What can you use that for? Leah, you can use it for just about anything from spa treatments to gratuities to um, specialty dining, purchases in the shop, almost anything you can buy. Tiffany Farnham, because of your channel looking into Princess Cruises, is it worth it to push for a mini suite or suite for the perks or do a balcony room to save some money? There aren't a lot of perks, um, Tiffany, in that, in a mini suite. It's more the size of the cabin, but you don't, unless you book a club class mini suite, you don't get perks, really. Um, so as far as, perks to answer your question that way. I don't think it's worth it for that. I just like the bigger stateroom personally, and I like the bathtub. So I would start with the balcony if it's more affordable for you and then try a mini suite later. Um, Jeremy Eckhouse said, is that Fresca you're drinking? Jeremy, it's similar. It's bubbly with a whole entire lime squeezed into it. Blackberry bubbly with a whole lime. Delicious. Tina Wood said, please help taking our two grandsons on their first cruise on Panorama, any advice? Oh, Tina, I have friends who just got off that ship with a two, three, and what is she, six years old? They had the time of their lives. Take them to the youth center on day one to get them accustomed to it. Um, my friends' kids never wanted to leave the youth center. They had the time of their lives. Um, there's so many things, Tina, that I could, I could give you advice on, but I haven't spent the full week on Panorama yet. So I'm gonna say take the kids for Guy's Burgers, um, book your specialty dining early like our other subscribers said earlier today. It is booking up like crazy. Shangi living life to the fullest said, wow, just watched your Las Coletas and saw your live new here. Love the Las Coletas video. Whoever's taping your videos is awesome. Thank you, Shangi, my husband affectionately known here as Mr. Cruise Tips TV, does all of the filming of our vlogs, and he does an incredible job. He's also a very good editor, and I'm very proud of him. Sweetie, she liked your Las Coletas vlog. Good job. Thank you so much. Ebony Oliver, my daughter's turning 21 in October. We've never traveled outside the country. What would be a good place for us to go? Also bringing your son. Ebony, start with the Caribbean. It's an awesome starter place. Do it. Lisa Vega said, if Junior had the opportunity to select where he'd wear do you think he would pick to go? Lisa, he wants to go to Antarctica. He wants to see, did he say penguins? Is that what he wants to see right now? Penguins. Yeah, he's into Antarctica. That's his first choice. Isabel said, other than the Crown Girl, what is the next best upcharge restaurant for anyone who's been on Sky? Oh, Isabel. Mm. I'm a Crown Girl girl myself, although I have to say Sabatini's really knocked my socks off on Royal Princess, so that'd be my choice. Beth Pierce is new in the house. Headed to Cozumel, decided on Nachi Kakom. You are welcome, Beth. Excuse me. Good choice. Nachi Kakom does not disappoint. I'm hoping you reserved it, Beth, if you didn't do it now. Dinara May said, hey, everyone, is there a good time to book a med cruise or does it really matter? Maybe there's a time with good discounts or something like that. Now is a good time because all the cruise lines are having sales. Definitely look at the Europe sales for Princess Cruises. They are doing incredible deals on Europe. And do not forget to try your airfare through Princess as well. Um, Princess Easy Air is amazing. 
Allie D. Cruising said the last few days of March into April, should we be clear of what is considered wave season? Allie, it's kind of loose. There is no date that wave season really ends, but a lot of people will say that it's like into April. Um, personally, I think it's like through the end of March. Kawani Hardy said, is MSC Seaside okay for active younger people, meaning under 50? Oh yeah, for sure, Kawana. Lots of young people on MSC Seaside. Olizo said, did Junior ever do the kids club on MSC? What were his thoughts? You know, they have Lego theme, which the boys will love. He wasn't really into it on Maravilia. He tried it out and he just didn't really want to go back the next day. So he didn't, but we were in port every day. If we had been, if we had had more sea days, he probably would have gotten used to it. Daisy Roman said, I made it. Our lights went out. Aww. I know. Um, I know. I wish there was a guy's burger on Oasis Daisy, but there's not. Curious Coyote said your Insta story was really sweet too. Oh, thank you so much. And you guys, I do want to say that as soon as we get to 15,000 followers over on Instagram, we're going to be doing a special giveaway. So I want you guys to follow us over there. And the reason I want you to follow us is because it's a different type of content. Um, what we do on Instagram is different from what we do on YouTube, but what makes it so great is that it's like this fun place to follow us in between. Instagram stories are like mini vlogs for us. And so when we're cruising, we do live Instagram stories. They're mini videos and we save them to this little um, highlight section. These are the little bubbles under my profile. You can go back and basically watch like mini vlogs. They're chocked full of tips and information, but also great family fun. So please go. Isabel, thank you for the super chat and the cute little emoji. That's adorbs. Thank you, thank you so much. That's so cute. Oh my word, I love it. Thank you. Um, Rebecca Scott said, Mr. CTTV is the best film vlogger in all of YouTube. Oh my goodness, Rebecca, thank you. I think he is too, and he is so detail-oriented, but yet, what is that saying about perfection? You know that saying that perfection is the enemy of progress. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, he used to be kind of a perfectionist, but he has moved past that, you know, that feeling that you have to be perfect all the time. If, if we lived in that place at Chris Tips TV, we would never be able to get anything done, right? So I'm so proud of him for still keeping our vlogs incredibly high quality, but being able to churn out the content at a reasonable rate. It is not easy. The average vlog take, takes like 30 to 40 hours to edit. So it is a full-time job, guys. Um, but he does a beautiful job. Yes, you do. Riley Byers, how much does it cost to get the balcony dinner? It's $50 per person, Riley, on Princess. Such a good deal. Um, Cherie Morris, thank you so much for the recent chat on Facebook regarding my celebrity cruise to the Western Med. Love your channel and sweet family. You're welcome, Cherie. Thank you. John Jamelli, short notice cruises, a good deal. I think so. I see last minute deals that are mind boggling. I saw on the Princess website, a Southeast Asia cruise for like $900 a person for like 12 nights. Insanely good deals. You just have to know how to shop for them and be really flexible. You've got to be able to pick up and go within two months. Christy Iyer, heard Vines on Princess is a great selection of wines, but did I see sushi there too? Is that included? It's included. They have a variety of appetizers that they serve and you don't necessarily get to control it, but a lot of times they do serve a little bit of sushi. Sophie Pierce said, we're going on a Pan Panama Canal cruise in March. Any advice? Ah, uh, Sophie, yes. Watch our Panama Canal vlogs um, from Caribbean Princess. So go to our channel, click on playlists, and um, go to Caribbean Princess. I would say advice is wear a lot of cool cotton clothing. Plan to get very sweaty. It is an extremely humid cruise. It is not a beachy it's a, be it's a hot cruise, but it's not all beachy either. You're in the jungle. So I would plan to do some laundry on the ship because you are going to be going through clothes like crazy. I know that's a weird tip, but it's very, very true. Also, on the day that you do trans traverse through the Panama Canal, don't feel like you have to do a shore excursion. Staying on the ship is equally magnificent. Kay Croutonay said, have you ever been on Norwegian Epic? No, we haven't, but we have been on Bliss and it was amazing. Amanda Rodriguez said, if you sailed on Norwegian and used the free at sea offer, did you think it was worth it? And also, is the shore excursion credit only for NCL excursions? Yes, it's only for NCL excursions and sometimes I think free at sea is worth it. Sometimes I think it's kind of inflated. Personally, I we did the dining, pa the dining package 
and I think free gratuities, but in hindsight, if I were to do it again, I'd probably do drink package and dining package. Jennifer, you can only book Nachi Kakom through their website. You cannot book it through your cruise line. Ken Thornton, how similar is Allure of the Seas to Oasis of the Seas? I think they're pretty similar, Ken, but I haven't been on either ship. Hopefully somebody in the chat can help out. Okay, guys, we're gonna answer two or three more questions and then it's dinner time. The Instant Pot is beeping. We, um, when I got home from work, if you wanna know what's in my Instant Pot, I will tell you the recipe in under one minute. Um, it is a plastic container of mirepoix, which is chopped carrots, celery, and onions that you get at Trader Joe's for just a couple dollars. Sauteed with olive oil. On top of that, I chopped up chicken, I put balsamic vinegar and honey, and a couple of potatoes and some chicken broth, and I turned it on for five minutes. That's my dinner. And maybe some rice, and maybe some avocados or something, I don't know. But the Instant Pot is a lifesaver for busy mamas and dads and people, it's great. Okay, a couple more questions. Kayla Lowry said, thank you for the recommendation to go to Little French Key in Honduras. It was our favorite day out of a 14 day cruise and it, that day it was pouring, amazing place. So glad you told me because I've never actually been there, but I've heard it's great. I saw Doug Parker holding a, like a tiger or a leopard or something in the water and I was like, okay, that looks fun. So I'm glad you liked it. Geraldine Lagasca, any tips for Carnival Breeze excursion? I don't know where you're going exactly, Geraldine. Let us know the ports, maybe DM me on Facebook and I can help you. But Breeze is a beautiful ship, very, very popular and very much a well-liked ship. All right. All right, you guys. I appreciate you all being here. I'm looking at Jennifer McClintock saying, flying from Sacramento to Long Beach tomorrow, sailing on the Panorama Saturday, always feel like I'm forgetting something. What have you forgot? Jennifer, I'm gonna tell you this. I freak out about that every time. The only thing that really matters is passports, money, and a good attitude. Anything else, you can buy it and replace it in port, so don't worry. Make sure your burners are off on your stove, shut your windows in your house, be prepared, don't stress out. Obviously get the luggage tags on your um, bags, print off your boarding passes, you're gonna be fine. Trust me, you can buy it if you left it at home, as long as it's not a passport. All right, thank you Irish and USA for following us over on Instagram. We appreciate that so much. I will put that link in there one more time, you guys. If we have missed your questions, just send me a direct message over on Facebook at Cruise Tips TV. Thank you for being here. We're gonna to try to keep going live as much as we can because we're all thinking about cruises right now, right? Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Good night. Cruise around the week. <laughs>